Good Wednesday morning. We're in the first chapter of 2 Thessalonians, and it's all about thanksgiving, encouragement, and prayer. Paul gives thanks for three things. Number one, that their faith is flourishing. They not only know more about God, but they're trusting God more. Number two, Paul gives thanks that their love is increasing. And number three, Paul gives thanks for their perseverance, even in the face of persecution. Next month, we celebrate our national Thanksgiving holiday. In many Christian homes, we pause before we eat our big Thanksgiving dinner, and we go around the table and we list what we're thankful for. Here's a list. Increased faith, increased love, and perseverance in the face of trials. I don't know if I've ever heard anyone thank God for trials, but if you can do it, your walk with God is as strong as anybody I know. Then Paul encourages this church. His encouragement is based upon an eternal perspective. You know, it's easy when in the midst of trials to just give up, but Paul encourages the Thessalonians to realize that their faith, their love, and their perseverance are signs that God has saved them. He encourages them that those who oppose them in the gospel will be punished for their disobedience to God. I can think of no greater encouragement of holy living than an eternal perspective. When you, when you think about the eternal, you remember that your destiny is based upon whether you obey the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ or not. Finally, Paul prays. He prays that God would make them worthy of his calling that they would increasingly reflect the character of Christ and they would live up to the high calling of our holy God. He also prays that God will give them the power to accomplish all the good things that their faith prompts them to do. Oh, Christian, let me encourage you to act on your faith promptings. Some, some Christians experience these faith promptings multiple times a day. And for others, they, they're more rare. But if you will act upon a prompting of faith rather than just think about it, you will see the hand of God move through you. Which is Paul's final prayer, that God would be glorified in them. Lord, help us to live up to the calling we have received. Help us to live in a way worthy of your holy name by which we were called. God, Continue to prompt us with actionable faith. But above all, God, we pray that you would be glorified in us and through us, in the way we live and in the way we speak and in the way we behave. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.